Spyro Enter the Dragonfly cannot, will not, shall not be remastered. Or maybe it will, but not in the way that you think. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here and back with a brand new Spyro video. This one is a bit different, but is clearly a massive labor of love. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. It's a game that is a massive meme in the Spyro community. It came out as a rushed, undelegated mess as the developers and producers at Universal Interactive couldn't agree on, well, anything. It clearly was not up to the quality of the original games, from the graphics, the bugs, to the inducing loading screens. However, there is a small group of people within the fan base who actually legitimately enjoy Spyro Enter the Dragonfly and believe that if it was fixed from the ground up and remade like Spyro Reignited Trilogy, that it could be a great game. Many Flame Wars and videos have gone against this idea, including myself. But it turns out, something has been brewing over the past year from talented and awesome creators within the fan base. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to introduce to you Spyro Enter the Dragonfly Remastered. Yes, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly is being remastered, but not by Toys for Bob, Beanox, or anyone at the Activision headquarters or under the Activision umbrella, but by a small team of mod fans. The main developers are Infinite Streamer and Ghosty, with Faith SDK helping in the art department, Copeland with music, and Frankly GD and Zethical doing the playtesting. First, I'm just gonna give you uh, about a minute of gameplay, just so that you can really get a feeling of how awesome this mod is. Isn't that amazing? Now, I'm gonna be posting more videos later this week about just full playthroughs of these levels so that if you wanna be able to see a full unedited look of these levels, make sure to subscribe. But clearly, a lot of time and effort has gone into this fan remake. Now, of course, this mod is not complete yet, as stated in the bottom right corner that this is all a work in progress. Because of this, there is no download link available to the public yet, 
but playing through the two levels, the homeworld and crop circle, to see the amount of work is actually astonishing. See, one of the things that's actually helping these developers is that they can recycle assets from any of the three Spyro games that were included in their Spyro Reignited trilogy, or take an asset and rework it a bit to better match the original take in Enter the Dragonfly. For example, in Crop Circle, the enemies are a combination of the dinosaurs from Dino Mines in Spyro 3 and the sci-fi space cows from Metropolis in Spyro 2. But let's go back to the dinosaurs from Dino Mines. It's not a copy paste of the same enemy. They are now wearing a spacesuit and are recolored to red to better match the enemies from the original crop circle. Not only that, but take a look at some of these sections of the homeworld. The entrance to the thieves den has a giant crystal from the first flight level in Spiral 1 sitting in the middle of the entrance. At the entrance to Monkey Monastery, it has the buildings from Bamboo Terrace. It's actually a lot of fun to explore, find, and recognize the new, old, and altered assets that is all smartly put together. Also. Take a look as to where the giant crystal dragon normally is, where you would place the runes and get the powers from for all the different kinds of breaths. It's now a custom still statue of Nestor. But that's not all. We also have a gigantic statue of who I think is Cedric, who is from the end of High Caves. Now, here's the funny part. Large parts of the original Enter the Dragonfly already had recycled characters, ideas, and assets and sounds from the original trilogy even though they somehow made it look worse. But that means that when making this mod, recycling assets from the Reignited Trilogy works perfectly because the original had also used recycled assets. Except this time, the mod creators are making sure this looks on par with Reignited, and so far, it looks absolutely amazing. While I only got two levels to show you today, there are stills of previews of Monkey Monastery floating around. Take a look at what is arguably probably the best looking level so far. Again, the fans behind this mod have really outdone themselves and I applaud them and say, well done. And I must say, I have had more fun in this little technical preview than I have with the entire original Enter the Dragonfly. There's obviously still lots to be done, but the overall mod and the mod direction looks absolutely stunning, and I do plan on posting more videos about it as more updates come. But what do you guys think? Are you interested in checking this mod out when it goes live? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much to all those who not only support the channel, but myself and my family. Because of your contributions, I'm able to do this full time. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button or becoming a Patreon with the link in the description. I also live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and say hi. Again, thank you to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream.